Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel And another segment of Don't be telling my business Why are you telling my business? Because I can can and I can can and I will Okay yes we're going to be talking about this rumor I hear out on these YouTube streets About Miss Diane is mad at Portia Don't believe the hype Don't believe the hype Miss Diane ain't worried about her cash cow Portia uh making anybody look bad just as long as she don't make her look bad and she keep her in a lap of luxury that she has grown accustomed to okay if y'all watch my video if you haven't watched my video go watch my video guys okay bam i did um a book episode of chapter one i forgot what i titled it but it was pretty much portia lying on her mama trying to make her mama seem like she dissed that in the third when actual reality is no, her mom was a, a very bad um, businesswoman when it came to the business she was trying to get herself into. She didn't really lock everything down like Four Flat Tires and hired the right people to uh, be invested in her company as well as to teach her about the daycare business, okay? You have to do your due diligence. You have to do your research. You have to stay on top of things when it could cost you your livelihood. And Portia Mom did not do that. Okay? She was looking at the dollar, dollar, dollar signs and nothing less, nothing more. Okay? But go check out that video I just dropped uh, maybe 30 minutes ago. Um, and get your ear full in. Try to watch the video from the beginning to end because I dropped real nuggets. But if you just want to go to the very end in section of it it tells you what um issues portia williams mom got involved in and how it uh made her become a um caretaker for her grandchildren instead of her doing anything else with her life okay but it just is what it is you learn you live and you go on okay but you try to have your children do much better than you do so they won't fall in those pitfalls that you once found yourself into but i just thought it was very pissed poor that diane would do that to her daughter by letting her daughter put her name out there on a loan that expensive uh, just to say her mama got somewhere to work. Because Diane could have worked for any other corporation or organization out there. And she could have been hustling, doing her daycare business on the side. It was almost like Portia was the caregiver of her mom. Instead of her being the caregiver when her mom is in her latter years. Instead of her in her formative years. When Diane should have been out there kicking ass. You know, but it's just it's, it's what it is. But I'm going into this story because I don't believe it. I think it's full of shit. I think it's full of crap. Ain't nowhere in the world Diane is telling Portia, oh, you need to apologize. Oh, you need to set the record straight. You need to go on record and say you didn't mean that with Miss Diane. Because what you calling Miss Diane everything but the child of God prior to they going to Mexico and it becoming Mexico? Weren't you the one supposed to have been trying to get Miss Gina straight? Now you're trying to say, oh, then it shouldn't be seen like this. That storm your cousin. Tell her to stop lying on Dennis. You know, he's a good man. But then weren't you trying to say Simon was good for your daughter again, too? I'm like, where where are you on this fence, Diane? Because it seems to me you ain't on the fence. You just shooting shots, throwing stones at glass houses, and hiding your hands. That's what it seems to me like you're doing. Okay? You're not trying to make a situation better because a mother would be there for her child. And if that child that you raised is talking bad about somebody, it wouldn't be on TV. It wouldn't be in tape for TV for consumption for viewers to hear it. It might have been said, but it would have been having them closed doors. And we would have got these issues straight because I didn't raise you like that. That's where Diane should have been. Or Diane could have had on, 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 on tape. Because Diane should have took her ass. And I mean that. She should have took her ass on down there to Mexico. So she made sure another one popping off. Because to date, Portia ain't got nothing but failedness behind her. She got one failed marriage, one failed engagement, and now she finna get in a third engagement that's not gonna cause her nothing but pain. Okay? Because she's worried about that dollar, dollar, dollar bill, y'all, with that man who definitely hasn't solidified himself or being reputable or could find anything concrete on him that he's even worth one million. Okay? Mouth can say everything. But yeah, Porsche out there, she showed out on that scene, trying to get Mama Gina together. So, you shouldn't talk to my grandmama this way. And she's going to have a nerve to be fussing at Dennis the whole trip. 
and this is the only thing that keep coming out of his mouth. You asked me to come on this trip. Then you got old Don. Dom over there being messy. Messy as messy can be. Just messy like poo poo. Okay. And then Simon coming really from the last scene that we thought was going to be the last episode. Smelling like a rose. Though, even though some roses smell like poo poo poo. Okay. Got that from Outcast. But yeah. You're going to sit there and let us believe, Diane, that you are mad because Portia talked bad about Miss Gina. When y'all were just on the bed, you were on the bed, Portia was on the floor trying to get herself together to go on this Mexico trip. Being Miss Thoughtland and everything that's thoughtless about her that you helped raise into this creature of Jezebeling spirit. Deceiving men, getting men for all they can and then leaving them. Okay, not the Black Widow. But a black madam, all right. But you have us, or would have us, to believe that you're upset with your daughter. Okay, she was a personality radio host over there at uh, Ricky Smiley's show and the Dish Nation, and she's definitely been on Real Housewives of Atlanta showing her ass for the negative, not positive. Instead of you telling her to go get her education, do both of them if you must. But when you get tired of playing this reality game. Or things they want you to do. You know. You have a career choice to be in as well. Okay. Have some checks and balances. Because one thing is not going to outweigh the other. Unless you decide that you don't want to do this anymore. Because this makes you feel this kind of way. I mean we're against the moral values. Okay. It ain't all about the dollar. And sometimes it should be about your soul. And how you perceive. Or how you want to perceive as leaving this world. Because you're not going to be here forever. Your, your beauty is going to fade. It's going to sag. It's going to look ugly. Okay. And then what are you going to do? Go in deep depression. Because you don't have those assets that you've been flaunting around your whole entire grown up life. Okay. It's all about that you only teach her Diane. It was about the nice cars. The nice homes. And the nice people. Meaning lucrative people you surround yourself with around that's going to make you feel better did you teach these same accolades to your son because we don't hear nothing about your son out there for those who really don't care to check but people that do get down like the paparazzi they can't find that on your son jose uh the third can't find that on him okay only that he was related to his dad which was a civil rights activist i mean are you so hell bent on Portia not getting the recognition or your son not getting the recognition that you felt the Jose Williams legacy family, uh, legendary family in Atlanta should have given your children. Is, is this what this is all about? Because if that's the case, you definitely need to be in therapy before your children. You need to learn what triggered you to marry such a man. What did you feel you were going to get out of that situation? And if it did go south, how were you going to deal with it? For yourself. Forget about the kids. Just how were you going to combat these negative entities that you were thinking about. If I didn't have him no more. If he left me for somebody else. Did you not get any safeguards? Any tools to use? To be able to navigate your way through out of a, a divorce? Okay. Because... From the chapter one of what Portia was saying. You were trying to get them into therapy. But it seemed like you should have been in therapy yourself. And I can see why you don't want to marry. This guy named Larry. You're supposed to be very close to. Is it because of. Two incomes becoming lesser than. Meaning y'all are both senior citizens now. And I have heard about. If you combine both incomes. One income may be cut drastically because of the two of you all are coming one now. That's very unfortunate and it's sad. But I get it. So I ain't going to say you don't get married. Because that's your moral compass that you have to live with. You have to gauge through and navigate your financial portfolio. Because your daughter has definitely helped you a lot. A lot. I don't like to sound hush, Jaden. I don't know who ideal it was to get the daycare center. <laughs> Excuse me, and how much thought and research y'all put into it. But when you have to go reach back and have your daughter bail you out of something that she should have never had to bail you out in the first place, that's maybe where some of her resentment is coming from. And she's acting out and she's doing whatever she needs to do 
because this is her face this is her mask now i'm not trying to uh, bring portia out the little uh mud puddle she has definitely sunk herself into because she got some uh explaining to do as well but like, again when you know better do better and when you see people not doing what they say they're supposed to be doing but then want you to give them a, a hand up and say i ain't really like that that's just what i portray it's very hard for me to go and believe in so that's why i believe them two ain't got married because of the fact that it's income issues and diane no her daughter Portia don't help her out as much as she can from my understanding she don't moved in totally into a Portia's house again one of my um family members that put it down in the comments that i read that she had uh diane's mother is living in diane's house uh don't know if that's true or not uh but again what happened to diane's mother's house where are these damn houses going? And why we got all these women saying they bossing up, they doing the thing, they breeding good stock out there, bossing up, such as Portia. And ain't, ain't none of them got shit. Shit is getting passed down to them. I don't understand it. it that's why I say I think they curse. Because evidently, Portia grandmama, where's her husband? We already know Diane ain't got no husband. We already know Darlene ain't got no husband. We don't know Jenny ain't got no husband, but she ain't a part of their family in a sense. And how she said she don't want to be part of it either. What is going on? So it has to be a generational curse. But they cannot keep men in their lives. And if the men are not stepping up to where they feel they should be, why were they messing with them in the first place? Okay. I'm just saying. Buying time to the next uh, a man come along that they can uh, eat up. And I'm like, Simon ain't finna vote. He may be the less favorite of the show. But I don't really think Simon is going to let Portia take him for whatever little money he does have. I think Portia's barking up the wrong tree. She's going to come out empty handed. Because let's see her track record. She wasn't able to really keep anybody in high school. She really didn't get anybody uh, before Cordell. She didn't keep Cordell. Cordell said he left her. Portia went on, dated some more NFL players, some people in the music industry. She hooked up with Dennis. Dennis, we see how that fared. Who's to say Dennis didn't try to get with Storm before he met Portia? You know, it, it could be that possibility because he loved women and Storm is a nice looking young lady. So I could see that being the case. As far as him harassing her and all like that, maybe being overindulgent with trying to get a date with her and maybe getting in her pants you know what i'm saying but to physically have someone touching you unwantedly or getting too close to you in your environment your personal space then yeah then you should have done a lawsuit against him because that is sexual harassment especially if he ain't doing it to nobody but you okay so if it's un unintended wanted um touching or he's filling into your personal space and he shouldn't be there then yeah you should have did that why did you wait storm to a show to come in that they introduced you on that you felt you needed to attack then it's the way you have been doing okay so and then like i said i'm kind of through with diane because you sit up there you should have been there at that mexico trip you should have been getting miss gina together in a nice way you know, because we're adults. We can say the right things to make you feel we around your neck, even when we're not around your neck. You know what I'm saying? Like we're suffocating you with what we're saying, and you just can't take it. You should have been there for Portia, saying in everybody's face that wanted to hear or were in earshot, that why did you lie and tell my daughter I, I said this? Because our conversation went like this, that, and a third. So where did you get that I said this happened? In front of Portia, in front of the powers that be or whatever. You know what I'm saying? No sickness or illness unless it puts you in a hospital. Which you should have been missing that Mexico trip. No. Mexico should have had your name on it. You should have been the first one there. Or better yet, you could have took things into your own hands. Started the issue out as y'all were riding to the airport. And once you got everything aired out, if you didn't want to go past that, then you didn't have to. You could have said, take me home. I'm done with this. I already told this lady what I felt about her and what she thought she was going to tell on me. I don't say what I had to say. It's no more. I don't enjoy her company. I would not enjoy her company on that uh, rest of that trip. So I just wanted to go, come in, get shit uh, 
straighten out what was said that I said that I know I didn't say. And now I'm going back home with my man. And that's how I would have been playing. I would have been here for Mr. I am. Like, okay, you came, you saw, you conquered, you moved on. <laughs> okay, you ain't got to go tracing down no Mexico trip to be centered around trying to blend families together. Well, it ain't got nothing to do with, with you, Dennis, and Simon. It ain't got nothing to do with us. We'll see y'all on Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. Any other pivotal holidays. And then we done. We ain't got to live with you. We ain't got to see you. We ain't got to pay your bills. Boo. Okay. But it just is what it is. I thought I'd just get that out there to you guys. Because it was kind of disturbing me. Like uh uh. The two don't match. The two just don't match. So I, I ain't believe in the hype. But y'all get down in the comments. Y'all let me know. Do y'all really think Diane. Portia's mom. That traded. Said she was going on a trip. Then she bagged out at the last moment. The last couple of hours. Leading up to the trip that she wasn't going. Because she didn't want that confrontation. But she put out there that she was ill. She couldn't make it. She couldn't move. And I'm like, okay, did you stay that way while they were all in Mexico? Or did you get up shortly after you made that phone call to Porsche saying you weren't coming? Went up there and cooked grits, bacon, and eggs. And, and, and you and your uh, significant other got, you know, ate real good and went back to sleep together. Is that what, what, is that what happened, girl? Girl, I'm like, ugh. Me being a parent and me being a mother, I am just so disgusted with you, Diane. I'm just so disgusted because you didn't have any morals about you. Didn't have any type of discretion that you could have show up, show out for your daughter. Okay? When she really needed you to be there to say, I am Portia's mom and I did not say that. Just if it was just to help Portia out in her mind. But she didn't have that. So what did she do? She went to Mexico and stirred up some more shit. All right, wasn't looking favorable. We didn't appreciate it. We have been tearing her down for it, but we can't forget about you because she is spawned from you. And how you could sit up there and be in one person's life or one of your child's life and be in the other child's life and condone such atrocities is beyond me. It's beyond me. Okay. I think you and Portia need help. Y'all really do. Y'all need to go to several counselors and then counsel on why. What happened to Portia not being able to come to you? That she felt some sort of detachment. That she was being held as the responsible parent by not letting you know about her deep-rooted emotional issues. That she had to just man let it manifest itself throughout her life and the poor decisions she's been making as far as career choices. Okay? Let that soak with you, Diane. Okay? Because you got some explaining to do. Alright, but that's all I have for this video, guys. Y'all like and love it. Gotta have more. Please don't hesitate to knock on the door or open the door. Come in by liking. And when you're leaving with your stuff, going home, doing what you got to do. Because you finished listening to me. <laughs> And comboing with me. Don't forget to subscribe and share my videos. Alright. But I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.